Welcome back to another episode of Brands Brands. Hello, I'm Mark Brand from Alpha Controls. And today we're gonna do it a little bit differently. We're gonna talk to three of our calibration technicians and get their unique perspective and a little bit of behind the scenes of what they do and why they love it so much. In the world of metrology, the definition of calibration can look pretty wordy, but I'll put it into a little bit of layman's terms for you. Calibration is really taking a unit under test and comparing its results to a standard of known accuracy. I know it sounds pretty easy, but it's not. You need very skilled technicians who understand not only how to perform these tests, but also understand the science behind the test that they're doing, as well as the disciplines that they're doing it with, such as temperature or pressure. We spend a lot of time talking about latest technologies, new trends, different services that can be provided. But I thought we'd take a look behind the scenes today and probably talk about the most important part of metrology, the calibration technician. Let's go see if we can find someone to talk to. Oh, Kyle's in here. Hey Kyle. So what is it you do here at Alpha? Hey Mark, I'm a field service technician. My job is to deliver the quality and service from the lab on site for the customers. Maybe you could talk a little bit about your background and why you decided to become a calibration technician. So my background is I have an electrical uh, technician diploma as well as an instrumentation and control diploma. So I specifically went to school to become an instrumentation and control technician. I like the idea of the variety that you get in the field. You can work in any industry. You can work globally. A lot of the standards are recognized around the globe. So I love the employability. Let's go find Tony. Hey Tony, you're up. Thanks for doing this. Oh, no problem. Maybe talk to me a bit about some of the challenges you have in the job. Some of the test equipment that comes in here is quite old and some of it is actually obsolete, but a lot of the uh, companies still require that they have that equipment calibrated. So for us, the challenge uh, is to actually know more about the equipment when there's not much information on it in the first place. Sure. So trying to find the ranges and specifications, it really does pose a challenge when you can't find it on the net, you know? Oh, I can imagine. And sometimes customers actually send us equipment for calibration when it actually needs repair. That poses a challenge because some of the equipment, you know, you have to work on and, and make sure that uh, it's up and running and working before it sure. actually gets calibrated. Okay, know? good, thank you. So I think there's one more person I think we need to speak to. Hey Fareed, how's it going? Mm -hmm. So what is it that you love most about your job? When we receive the device and after evaluation and calibration, sometimes happen, there is a, something wrong, there is a problem with the device and we try to figure it out what kind of problem there is. And I like it because all the time this kind of challenge uh, rise up my knowledge and push me to learn more and more. Well, I think the customers appreciate it too because it looks like we went that extra mile to make sure their instrument was working properly. Yeah, it's true. What advice would you give to someone that was asking you about getting into the calibration business? I know most of us uh, thinking about the stability of a job. It's true. And sometimes we hear about uh, AI coming to ground to uh, cover our job. But I want to say, hey guys, don't worry about it. And I think uh, in the next future, you can consider this kind of job at a stable job, come to the ground, put your hand on work and do your best. Good advice, Fareed. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed meeting a few of our calibration technicians today and they were able to give you some insight on what it's like to be a calibration technician. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming episodes. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next episode of Brands Brands.